Hello everyone, this is Mark with MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com bringing you some breaking news information on Tropical Storm Lee and also Hurricane Katia. Let's go into Tropical Storm Lee first where we got a lot of problems going on in Louisiana. Right now Baton Rouge is saying that they're getting up to four inches of rain and still getting all that rain. Of course later today Tropical Storm Lee could make landfall and may already be making landfall but as of right now they say it has not yet. So we're taking a look at Tropical Storm Lee, which will be showing a lot of showers and thunderstorms here, guys. Look at these green, dark green shaded areas, dark orange shaded areas. These are where we're getting hit the most. Again, Baton Rouge right here is getting uh, over four inches of rain already. And of course, it's not over yet, guys. The storm will continue to move into Louisiana. And if you take a look at the spaghetti models with Google Earth, it's showing to take it all, all the way up into Tennessee, Alabama. In Mississippi we're gonna have a lot of problems guys with the already flooded zones in those areas due to the flooded waters so taking a look at Hurricane Katia of course it looks like it's gonna take a different path it may not hit the United States but we may have to watch Bermuda very close now this is still too early to tell according to the National Hurricane Center the storm could still change its track and we could still see an impact on the US but we're gonna keep a very close eye but it looks like so far there's been good news that it's not gonna hit but the bad thing is, if it, of course, Tropical Storm Lee stays intact, we'll have a lot of major problems, but it should dissipate before it continues to move on into the United States. So let's take a look at the MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com for the latest updates on what's happening with these storms. Got Tropical Storm Lee at advisory number 8 as of 10 a.m. Central Daylight Time. Max winds are at 50 knots or 60 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure 993 millibars. Movement is north at five knots or six miles per hour. Taking a look at Hurricane Katia, which is once again a hurricane again. Number 22 advisory as of 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time. And max winds are at 65 knots or 75 miles per hour. Minimum central pressure is 989 millibars. As a category of one hurricane. And of course, location, if you're tracking it with us, is 19.6 degrees north and 55.8 degrees west. Now the movement is northwest at nine knots or 10 miles per hour. We're continuing to keep you close in our category one hurricane Katia because like I said again, we'll have to watch very close for the US, especially for Bermuda. So once again, guys, stay tuned to MrHurricaneTracker.wimps.com for the latest info. Taking a look at the satellite imagery of Hurricane Katia. If you click on the latitude longitude button, you can actually track it with us here at MrHurricaneTracker.wimps.com especially if you go up to the second radar and you take a look the storm from Katia is coming in the new radar here up above and if you click on the latitude longitude you can track both storms right here on mrhurricanetracker.webs.com so again guys stay tuned for the latest updates and information thank you very much for watching and have a great day